Welcome to Whole CEO with Lisa G. I'm the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss. I'm bringing you the top tips to be unstoppable. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to actually pull up a chair with today's top experts in mindset, weight loss, business, and more. Learn our top tips so that you can have more energy, be fit and resilient, feel unstoppable, unshakable, and unbreakable. She is the president, director, and corporate secretary of MedX, a green product manufacturing company. She's worked for multiple companies in her career as a high-level accounting liaison, as well as in human resources, and now she oversees the development of MedX's line of green, non-toxic brands, providing families with safer, natural alternatives. Welcome to the podcast, Jennifer Mills. Thank you, Lisa. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to have you right here in California. So today I want to jump right into the content because I love making it through adverse situations. So I really want to start at the beginning with your story being left at an orphanage and how you had to work so hard to get where you are today. So I was left at an orphanage when I was six and adopted by my parents when I was seven. And I am completely blessed for that because I would not have my life that I have right now if it wasn't for their love and kindness oh, to do that. And cute. so over the years, my mother died when I was 13. And then, you know, you go through your challenges as a youth and whatnot and, you know, get married. It was a little hard, but then I came to realize that I choose not to play a victim and I don't like the victim mentality. So I pretty much changed how I live my life and took the challenges that came my way and took it as a life lesson and used it and tried to turn it into a positive. And that's what I tried to do and try to continue to do now. Well, I loved your story. That's why I want to get you up on the podcast, Whole CEO with Lisa G. I really started this podcast to help people become unstoppable, go from stuck to unstoppable, launch it during the pandemic. And I really think your story is so inspirational. And I want to talk also to how you lead with compassion in business and in life and community. So I think it was just embedded in me with my parents adopting me. I just took that as a big life lesson. They took a, a chance in, on me, adopting me into their family and gave me an opportunity that I would never be able to have had otherwise. So because of that, I feel like it was just automatic for me to always want to help others. Wow. And when it comes to my personal life, I choose to do things that I know will come, you know, what you put out will come back. I believe that. I do too. I love that. I think when you lead with generosity and heart, you're going to only be exponentially more successful in life. Right. And I choose to do things like that, not expecting anything back, but just so I can make a small difference in someone's life. It could be from buying someone a Starbucks, opening a door, or even just giving a smile and saying good morning to some stranger, just making a gesture like that. Um, and then I've taken that and incorporated it into my kind of passion of wanting to give back to others. And that is obviously, you can see behind me, I'm a big Los Angeles Chargers fan. Awesome. <laughs> and although I can make a difference in someone's life in person, I've come to realize you can make a difference using social media platforms. Right. So I did not start off on Twitter with a very big following. Right. I decided one day, oh, you know, let's try this little sticker giveaway that I happened to come across some stickers and sure enough, it took off. So from there to now, I've 
been able to help others, not just in a financial way or or in a means of being able to give them, let's say, a, a jersey, because I'd love to do giveaways, um, but emotional support as well, because our Chargers community on Twitter is like a big family. And because of what I've done, other members are choosing to do the same. So it's like a ripple effect. You do one random act and it can go on and on and on. And I love to see that. And that's been amazing to see. What a wonderful thing. The world needs more people like you that lead with a smile, even if it's something really small, like a smile. And I know just to go back to those shirts behind you and being named NFL's fan of the year as a result of all this support. Do you want to talk any more about the Chargers and how you got to be fan of the year? So the Chargers nominated, well, sorry, fans, Chargers fans nominated me and then the Chargers chose me to represent them as the Chargers fan of the year this year, which was a big surprise. And it all came about from many events that occurred on Twitter, whether it was my giveaways, whether it was just sharing someone's story to get, give them just a little support because if they're having a down day. Um, one event that occurred that happened was a fan lost their home to a fire. And I happened to just jump in and started a GoFund and it kind of took off. And from there, more fans got involved with other GoFunds to help each other out. So the Chargers community, like I said, is this big, huge family-based community, and we are there to help each other. And I may start something, but others take charge and start something for other people as well. So it's great to see that happen. What a wonderful thing that you're doing. And I know you're also creating non-toxic pro- um, products with MedEx for families and communities. Do you want to um, speak to that a little bit too? Yes. So our products, the way we can reach customers and make a difference in customers' lives. For example, our Thermalate product is 100% natural heating and cooling pack. And there was a case study done that showed a 20% decrease in pain med usage. So that was amazing to see. And then when we have our nature side, natural insecticide, pesticide product line out there, it's great that we can offer something that is natural and non, not harmful to pets, young children, you know, to people in general, because it's not toxic. And especially with what's happening nowadays, it's a great alternative to be able to give to our consumers. Well, I love everything that you're up to in the world. My podcast is really about helping people go from stuck to unstoppable. Do you have any tips for our audience on how to be unstoppable based on your background and everything that you've been through to where you've gotten? Well, one of my mantras is that like you don't take no for an answer and you have to crush any fear that you have because I know fear is what stops a lot of people from taking that next step that can really push them to the next level. And if you can just conquer that fear and tell yourself, hey, where am I going to be if this doesn't pan out? I'm not going to be any worse off. So why take the chance? Why not take that opportunity? See a failure as uh, as a reason to shut that down and say, look, I may have failed there, but look, I'm going to succeed here now. So it's all about your mental state and being able to just take something that could be a negative, turn it into a positive because it's a learning experience. You can grow from it and become better for it. So that's something that I try to use on a daily basis. I don't like to see negativity. I like to always be smiling and being positive. So even the smallest you know, hiccup along the road Okay, it's a little hiccup, but it's okay because one little down, you know, step back is going to be 10 steps forward. I love that. That's like one of my favorite quotes is fall down eight times, get back up nine and um, not taking no for an answer. And the way that you lead with a smile and that you just 
keep going, you guys. I want you to take these messages and just keep going no matter what. Don't let fear stop you. Don't take no for an answer. If something doesn't work out, that's happened to me plenty of times. Many of times. That's yes. why I wanted to start this podcast because of all the many times of my journey to success has not been like straight shot. And I don't think anybody's ever is. So just keep going, you guys. And where can people find you, Jennifer? Oh, you can find us at www.medx.com. Medics-rx.com. <laughs> it's a long title. Um, our product, thermalade.com and natureside.com. And what about this Twitter account? Oh, Twitter. Oh, my Twitter handle is Jen Mills on Twitter. And it's just based off of my love for the Chargers and just life in general, making friends and helping each other out. All right. Well, thanks for being a wonderful guest on Whole CEO with Lisa G. Go ahead and follow Jen, you guys, and have a great day. Thank you. Thanks for coming to Whole CEO with Lisa G. After over 20 years helping people lose weight and get fit, I'm so excited to announce that I found the missing link with my coaching. Message me if you want to learn how to look better, feel better, and go faster with a master. Lisa G at lisagfit.com.